Last night's Republican presidential debate was the highest rated program ever in the history of CNN. Nearly 23 million people tuned in. And today the handicapping began. Who had a good performance? Who didn't? San Diego 6's John Carroll been talking with a local political analyst about how the candidates fared last night. John. That's right, guys. It was quite the performance. The first primary isn't until January, the election more than a year away. But these early debates are the time when the public starts to get familiar with the candidates. So we talked this evening with political analyst John Dadian about who did really well and who didn't. CNN went on the air 35 years ago, and they got their highest rating ever Wednesday night. Political analyst John Dadian says, like the Fox debate, there's one big reason for that. Clearly, there wouldn't have been this attention without Donald Trump. I mean, if anybody disputes that, they're not being fair and accurate. So that's probably the reason so many people tuned in, but what did they learn about these 11 candidates? Well, we started from screen left, Senator Rand Paul, who Dadian says was lackluster. Trump sniping at him didn't help. First of all, Rand Paul shouldn't even be on this stage. He's number 11. He's got 1% in the polls. And he didn't have the oomph, to use a technical term. Next, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. Uh, I think you will see a similarity to when he ran for president before, that he'll probably do well in Iowa. One of the main reasons is because of the evangelical vote there. Moving on, Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Dadian says he had another good performance, but if you watched, you'll recall the senator made a joke about California's drought and having bottled water at the ready. I've known several elected officials who think they're funny and they're not. He's one of them. He should know. His joke just fell flat. Texas Senator Ted Cruz. He had a lot of eye contact with the camera, and Dadian says the Twitterverse had something to say about that. For some reason, this is getting a lot of buzz, this one treat, saying, uh, use the word that it was creepy. I thought it came across well, quite honestly. And again, I'm looking at it through a political lens. Which brings us to the candidate who has surged to the second spot in most polls, Dr. Ben Carson. Dadian says his style of delivery can be somewhat sleep-inducing, but he also says he thinks Carson is eloquent, but as to whether he could win the nomination, Dadian is skeptical. I'm not saying there's skeletons in his closet, but it's a different arena uh, that you get into when you're the, the possible, really uh, possible nominee, uh, so I don't think so. And now, the front runner, Donald Trump. Maybe he was a little bit more subdued, but to be honest with you, several people have made that comment to me today, and my response was, are you kidding me? The first 10 seconds, he was vintage Trump, where he blasted not only Rand Paul, but then he continued and made a personal comment about his you know, physical attributes. Jeb Bush was the man to Trump's left. For him, Dadian had faint praise. Certainly better than the first debate, and overall, pretty good. Carly Fiorina has gotten high marks for her performance, many saying if anyone won the debate, it was her. Normally, I like to go against conventional wisdom, but I'm agreeing with the majority this time that clearly she did. Next, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. Not a good night for him, says Dadian. On a, on a, on a scale of all of the candidates, if you had to rate them just of that group, I would say he did the worst. Ohio Governor John Kasich is next. Taking everything into consideration, he's the most qualified, without a doubt, both by background and demeanor. And finally, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who Dadian says had a good performance. He did much better than the first debate, uh, and he did well again in comparison last night, putting them all on the line, et cetera. He did very well, without a doubt. There are nine more Republican debates to come, the next one on Wednesday, October 28th on CNBC. There are six debates scheduled on the Democratic side, the first one to be held Tuesday, October 13th, again on CNN. Live in studio tonight, John Carroll, San Diego 6 News. Interesting conversation. Thanks.